The Falklands economy is in a strong position. That is the conclusion the independent auditor Mazars LLP came to when it produced an audit of the government's finances for 2021, noting the £20 million the Falklands has in reserve. But while the economy might be seeing steady growth and solid revenue, there are still many risks that could affect the Falklands' strong financial position. Areas of concern include an over-reliance on the fishing industry and money spent on large capital projects. An increase in public expenditure, as well as international economic issues, are also a concern to the local business community. Government itself has expanded enormously in, in the last four years, and, and many people would say way too much, uh, w without particularly delivering anything more for, for, for the citizens, because ultimately that's its, that's its job. Uh, the supply chain issue, I think, is reasonably serious, not just for us here, but for, for everybody. Uh, all sorts of people trying to order goods and services in the UK simply can't get them uh, because of the supply chain issues and, and therefore the same as the case here because that's where all our stuff comes from. So if inflation's going up in the UK, it's going to go up here. Um, there's, uh, there's been substantial price rises in, uh, in fuel and gas and the government will be have, to, have to be sort of particularly cautious about how it plans its budgets in the next two or three years and what reference points it uses. The government remain committed to keeping a positive balance of expenditure, meaning they would like to always have a sizeable amount of public money in reserve. But while they aim for fiscal prudence, they believe the Falklands economy is resilient enough to deal with risks. We, we're desperate to get goods down. There has been a, a little bit of delay. That Some of that is in, in capital items coming into the islands. Um, but I don't see that as being a major issue at the moment. Uh, inflation is always difficult. You're importing inflation. Uh, that will mean that wages will need to rise, uh, pensions will need to rise, etc. Our revenues come from uh, fishing licence fees, which are fairly static. Um, so we will need to find ways in which we can fund um, those extra costs that everybody has, and it, it makes it difficult. I think we are in a healthy position. So we're, we're making those choices from a position where we're, we're not desperate to, to, to cut um, in various areas. But at the same time, you know, we're going to have to make difficult choices because we cannot possibly fund everything that everybody would wish to see. The Falklands is currently undertaking some of the largest capital projects in the island's history. So not only must the government ensure that these projects do not overspend, but they will also have to pursue new environmental commitments. Certainly, um, we have made a budget principle that we won't borrow for operating purposes. What that, that effectively means is that we won't spend more on an annualised basis on operating expenditure than we'll earn in revenues. We, w we may invest out of reserves or take on a small amount of debt to meet long-term capital project aspirations. I mean, some, some long-term assets, such as a port, may well be best funded with a long-term mortgage like you would do when you were buying a house. Uh, and I, I think, you know, What's important to me is that anything we do is sustainable financially. We've actually changed um, one of our budget principles towards um, highlighting not just economic development but also a sustainable environment and how we execute that as part of our budgetary proposals and make provision for that for the, for the long-term sustainable future of the islands remains important. The financial statements for 2021 will be laid before the House on the 24th of February. Over the coming months, a clearer idea of how public finances will be used will emerge as the budget process begins and when larger capital projects are further underway.